let's get started then. So, yeah. um, good morning, Marina. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you very much, Kelly. Um, thank you for interviewing me today. No, well, thank you for for joining me today as well. So, I mean, let's get started. Um, so, let's just go from the beginning then. So, what made you start looking for you know English tuition? What made you you know go out there and start looking for this? Okay, so basically, Lucas um, has always been quite good at English. I think that was one of his strengths during primary school. Um, and during the pandemic, I really felt that his motivation went down. He stopped reading books. He just didn't feel any interest in English lessons. Mm -hmm. And I think at the last parents meeting, I could feel from the teacher that there was, I, I really needed to do something to help him out. Um, you know, help his motivation really and, and help him get back on track. And as a parent then, I mean, I guess, you know, hearing hearing and seeing, you know, your son in this way, how does that make you feel as a parent? Um, very sad. Because I, I used to see him read books so often, like, you know, I never needed to ask him to do that. Um, he loved English. He loved writing essays, especially during primary school time. And to see him like that, you know, was frustrating yeah. but also very sad and I just felt that you know you need English even you don't have to excel in it but you 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 really do need to be good at it because you you use it every day yeah. and English is not my first language by the way just to let you know and so I do feel that you know he, he needs you know he, he needs to be good at it to, to in order to write and speak properly, you know, and have good interaction with people. So it's um, you know, fantastic. Thank you for, you know, um, being so honest there, Marina. So what you're saying is it's not just in his, you know, GCSC, it's not just in his academic career, but also in his personal and professional life as well. Um, and then yeah, I guess, absolutely. yeah, I am absolutely. I, am, I think you're spot on there, especially with everything that's happening, as you've mentioned. Um, and everything going online as well. So, I mean, how did you feel then about the English lessons, you know, the group online sessions? Because lots of parents have their you know, reservations about it. I mean, how have you, what were your concerns? And then how, how what's your experience been? Yes, I mean, um, at the beginning, as you, as you mentioned, I was quite reluctant. Mm -hmm. um, I was really looking initially at one-to-one -one lessons. Yeah. Um, because I feel that one-to-one -one lessons would be more appropriate for him um, because he's a very shy person. Mm -hmm. He's not the type of person to open up so easily mm -hmm. uh, in a group of people. Um, so I, I really initially felt that the one-to-one -one lessons would be better. However, when I had the meeting with you, the first meeting with you, I, you know, I had this conversation with you and I I, I did realize that, you know, being in a small group, very small group, would be good for him because then they could share their opinions and they could learn from each other. I, I you know, I could sense there was a little, somebody he was talking about from this group that, you know, was good at a lot of things that he probably wasn't as good at. And then he would look up and try to improve. And I think it's really good. It's, you know, it's constructive. It's just helping each other to build on their strength and improve on the weaknesses and, and get better. So initially, yes, I was reluctant, but I could see that it would, it, you know, it, it has been really helpful. And I think you have helped a lot um, to, to make it, you know, small and, and quite homey. So he was comfortable speaking up and contributing to the lessons. No, thank you. And I think, you know, it's been amazing to see his confidence grow as well. So as you say, it's not just um, in the academic way, but actually just being able to feel actually I'm valued and my voice is valued as well. It's been fantastic to see. And yeah, the way they build on each other has just been incredible to, to watch. And it's inspiring um, to see what they can create. Um, and it's it's touching to hear that you feel like quite homey, which is exactly the environment we want to create is that nurturing um, you know, guided support there. Um, and I guess then, you know, where was, um, you know, Lucas at in terms of his English grades and what has he achieved in his most recent walks? 
Yeah, so I think initially his predicted grade was, I think, between six and seven, although he didn't do that well, he still he, he didn't do that well at the last end of year exam. And I think that's what triggered me mm -hmm. um, to, to look for a tutor. Uh, he, I believe he didn't have the right technique. He didn't have the motivation at all. So he only learned what he felt that was needed and he didn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. and I just really felt that he could do much better. It's not about scoring the highest mark, um, you know, just to score the highest mark is to score the best for yourself. This is yeah. what I wanted for Lucas. And I could tell that he wasn't achieving what, you know, his best. Mm. Um, so he was, I think, between six and seven. Um, and he's recently achieved uh, eight and nine, I think. Yes, I get it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, I was really delighted at the mock exam for the GCSEs. And he was really happy. Uh, he's not the kind of person to show his feelings and to show how proud he you know he is but he was really delighted and i definitely feel that you help him a lot um, so i'm very grateful for that no oh, and it's been fantastic i mean he's put the work in he you know he shows up um to the sessions and he completes all the tasks asked of him so you know it's a, it's a, it's a it's a, a joint effort to be honest with you yes. so it's great it's great to to hear that and I guess the Marina, would you recommend uh, working, you know, in this way? Would you work, recommend um, Up Level Academy? I would definitely 100% recommend um, Up Level Academy. I, I feel that you help so much. Um, Lucas managed, he's not, he doesn't open up as easily um, mm -hmm. as other people, as I said, and he really bonded with you. And he seems to have really bonded with his other friends as well. Um, so I think it's it worked very well um, and the fact I mean I don't know if I should say that but the fact that you allowed them not to always have the cameras on made him more comfortable which meant that he he yeah he, he felt like he could talk without people having to look at him which is something that he sometimes struggles with um, so I have definitely seen an improvement in confidence um, and obviously skills and motivation definitely so that's, that's fantastic it. and I guess that and how 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 does that affect you you as a parent then you know at the start you were saying how you felt a little bit sad you know how are you feeling now with regards to, to his English how are you feeling about it I'm feeling much more confident and I'm feeling much more at peace to be fair we we have very very busy lives and to know that he's in your hands gave me such a peace of mind um however I just don't want him to rely on on the mock exam results and I want him to keep working because we don't really know um, what's going to happen in this um, during this pandemic it's very very difficult um, and I just don't want him to just rely on the good grades he got for the mocks I want him to keep going and I know that we will keep the motivation going um, so yes it definitely gives me a lot of peace of mind um, and I'm grateful. Thank you Marina and I appreciate you again your time today so thank you very much. No problem.